What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create this Marco Royce poster. Now this is the first tutorial since I've moved house, so sorry for the lack of videos and the lack of content over the past few days. I've just been really busy with moving house and it's just taken a bit of time to get my setup done. So uh, thank you for all the support over the past few days though. We've gained about 40 subscribers over the last week, which is amazing. Thank you so much for that. We've also broken the 500 mark. Uh, when we get to 1,000 subscribers, I am going to be doing a giveaway for you guys. So something like a texture pack or something nice. And I'll probably do 100k, not 100k, uh, 1,000 uh, poster design. So uh, yeah, that would be great. But thank you for all the support as well on the Instagram as well. Uh, link in the description. Just follow it and we'll get straight into the video. This is the poster we're going to make in. Royce poster. Uh, pretty simple. A lot of likes on the Instagram. A lot of you guys wanted this video. So I'm bringing it to you guys now. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Hey guys, welcome back. So, first thing you're going to need to do for this tutorial is download the texture pack in the link below. So that will be down there, just called Assets Pack. Just download, download that and you'll be ready to go. So, canvas size is going to be 1080 by 1350. Same as usual, just standard size for Instagram for posting so you guys can upload your videos as well. Once you've got your background, what you're going to need to do is open up your texture pack. So I'm going to go to the texture pack now, and what you will see is something like this. You can turn this off, it doesn't matter really about that layer, um, you just turn it off. And what you're going to need to do is turn textures on. The textures we're going to need today is, well, we're going to need all of them obviously, um, but we're going to need a few first. Straight away we're going to need the first five post uh, textures. So if you get number five and then hold shift and click number one, you'll have all five of the ones you need. And we're just going to drag them over to our post design. So for now, you don't need to worry about positioning them. I'm just going to position the first one. So what we're going to do is place it straight in the middle. Now, the thing is, we're going to need to overlay a lot of these textures. So this video is going to be not so much about technical assets. It's just going to be about layering up textures. So what we're going to need to do is change the first one to exclusion. So what we're going to do is go down on blending options and we're going to go down to exclusion. So now we've got a nice black grainy effect on this white background. Then we're going to turn our second texture on. So now I've got this nice type texture, uh, like old written script, and we're going to change this to color burn. So select your image, and then we're going to go down to color burn, wherever it is. I've lost it. It's right at the top, sorry. And then it will look something like this. So now it blends in with the grainy texture we've got. Then we're going to use the next one, which is this light effect, which looks really cool. Uh, and this is going to be called soft. We're going to change this to soft light. Um, like that and as you can see it adds a nice little light effect over the design number four which is going to be this paper effect we're just going to position this in the middle and then change this to exclusion actually oh yeah exclusion do that and then the next one is going to be this really weird texture uh, just make sure we keep it you need to make sure you resize it basically um, now it's not a great quality image but it doesn't really matter once you layer it up you won't really be able to tell because it adds that nice effect over the top of the design so that's about it for the initial textures guys so i'm going to group that together and i'm going to change that to background so we got that now as you can see it doesn't look really like much at the moment so what we're going to do is get this marco royce picture so what you need to do is go back to your textures shut that one up and then turn this images on where is it images and you're going to open that up and we're going to select this bottom image first and we're just going to drag and drop it in. So now you're going to want to position this in the middle on the left. Now that looks really nice and clean. So there's not really a lot we need to do with this image. We just need to add some rectangles around it. So get your rectangle tool and we're going to get a nice solid yellow and get rid of the stroke. And then we're just going to zoom in and we're just going to draw a rectangle, a thin rectangle, all the way down the page like that. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to position that on the edge of the image. And then we're going to get another one and get another thin one and just put it along the bottom of the image. So make sure that you uh, position these where you want them and make sure they're on the edge of the image otherwise it just won't look right. So that's the rectangles done. Now we're going to need to get another bit of texture for this image. So go back to your textures, turn on the texture panel. Now we can turn all these bottom ones off now because we've used those. Now what we need to do is get number six. So this is quite a nice texture, it's like velvety texture, so you just want to put that over the top of the design and then we're just going to clip and mask it to this image. Once we've clip and masked it, we're going to change it to soft light, like so, and reduce the opacity down to about 50%. So now it adds a nice little uh, texture over the top of the image, making it not so 
boring, I guess. One thing you need to do is duplicate the image layer, like I've done now, Command J, and we're just gonna use a high pass. So filter, option, uh, filter, other, high pass, like so. And then we're just gonna overlay that. So now it just looks a lot more crisp and everything's popping a bit better. Uh, we can merge these layers together. No, we can't, because they're layer mass, but yeah, leave it like that for now. That looks good, the texture looks good, and we can move on. So, moving on with the design. Okay guys, so, welcome back. We're gonna get our type tool, and we're gonna get a font called Anton, and we're gonna change it to about 35 point, and we're just gonna type Royce. Now that I've got this, I am just gonna basically position it down the side, and then we're gonna shrink it down to about that big. So make sure it's about the width, about the width of the uh, image, or a bit smaller if you want. Uh, it's completely up to you guys. So something like that, really. Um, and we're just going to make sure that we duplicate this layer. So once it's duplicated, we're going to give it a stroke. So the bottom one, and this is going to be some sort of uh, yellowy color. So probably about two points is fine. And then what we're going to do is go to our second layer that we made, double click it, and then just get rid of the first two letters. And then position these two over the top. So now we've got an RE and then a Royce on the bottom. And for the bottom Royce, you're just gonna reduce the fill to zero. Now, as you can see, you can see the design coming through. So this is what we want, really. So it looks quite nice and textured. Moving on after that, we're gonna basically add two more images in. So I'm gonna go to my textures panel now, turn that texture off, close that up, and we're just gonna get these two images here, drag them across, and position them where we think they should be. So I'm gonna put the one here, and then I'm gonna put the other one somewhere around here, so like that. That looks really nice. Now we can move this one in front because he's at the front of the design. Something like that looks really nice. So once we've got the two images in, probably gonna need to give them both a high pass. So duplicate them, filter, other, high pass. Pretty simple guys, you just overlay it then and then we can just merge layers. Do the same again, Command J, filter, other, high pass, and then overlay. Now they just look a lot more defined and crisp. So that looks really good. Um, now the next thing we're going to do is probably move on to adding some color along the bottom, so moving on. Okay guys, so just one thing quickly, we're going to change the color of this type to white because I just realized with the texture we're going to use, you're going to need to make sure it's white, otherwise it won't look right. So same with the outline, keep it as white for now, that looks good. So the next thing we're going to do is add our yellow block along the bottom. So if we've got a yellow color, we want a, probably a rich yellow, get our rectangle tool again and just draw along the bottom like so. Now that looks good. And the next thing we're gonna do is layer mask this out. So apply a layer mask, get your brush tool, soft brush, uh, about 400 should do. Uh, maybe a bit smaller if you don't wanna get rid of so much of the color and something like that. And then we're gonna just basically use a blend if to get some color out of this. So like so, that looks really nice. Something like that, that'll work nicely. And once we've got this done, we need to add in some more type along the bottom. So I'm gonna go get that now. What we're gonna do is close this up and then there's just gonna be this Marco layer here. So if you get that and then you drag and drop it in and make sure you make sure you do, uh, command T so that it doesn't all fall apart. Uh, but you're gonna to wanna to position it in the center somewhere like that and you're just gonna click okay. You can bring this below the yellow if you want or leave it above, it's completely up to you. I think it looks better above basically, so I'm gonna do that, so moving on. Okay guys, so the next thing we're gonna do is get our type tool and type Dortmund. Now, keeping it in white color as well. So we're just gonna position this along the top, probably somewhere like that. Now we can move this down below this image if we want, if we don't want it to cover it up too much. And what we're gonna do is add a stroke to it, same again, uh, and reduce the fill so that it's just, just type basically out with an outline, no fill in it. So we've got that done. Now the next thing we're gonna do is add some more texture. So go back to your texture pack, turn this layer off, and then get back into your textures, and you can turn seven, eight, and nine on. So what we're gonna to need to do is get all of these, drag and drop them in. Now, once we've got the top two on, turned off, you can deal with this one. Uh, this is going to be one of the main textures it's gonna add in. So I've already basically done all the work for you. You don't really have to do anything with this. Um, as long as it covers the whole design, uh, make sure it lay it's layered out a bit and what we're gonna need to do to it is change it to darker uh, color So once it's changed to darker color as you can see it adds a nice texture over the whole design 
Then what we're going to do is add this texture here. So this is like just dots and stuff, which adds a bit of extra uh, depth to the design. Change this to color dodge and then reduce it down to about 40%, like so. That looks nice. And then what we're going to do is add in a paper texture. So we're going to make this a little bit bigger so that it covers the whole design, like so. Then we're just going to change this to multiply and about 70%. So as you can see, guys, we've created this this poster looks really nice now we're gonna have, have to add a few more textures in uh, no not a few more textures sorry we're gonna have to add a camera raw filter uh, once we've done that it should look how it did in the images I showed you earlier so we're gonna move on to the camera raw filter now okay guys so I've got my screenshot of the image I'm just gonna go filter camera raw filter now I've got a thing up and now I'm just gonna increase a lot of the yellow because you want that to be quite intense and some of the pink exposure you can mess around with yourself contrast you want to bring that up a lot highlights shadows that's completely up to you i just sort of move them along a little bit bring the texture up of course clarity is another one you want to bring up uh dehaze it a little bit vibrance saturation bring it all up depending on how how strong you want the design to look so it's completely up to you really uh curve simple s curve for the curve detail obviously you want to sharpen the image because you want to see the texture on the face and everything so you can reduce the noise and stuff like that and the colors it's completely up to you guys so I'm just gonna make the blues quite bright just so they pop out of the design in this tattoo and stuff and then effects on the grain so about 30 for the grain maybe a vignette uh, something nice and popping like that and that's pretty much it guys um, we can use color grading if we want to add in some highlights yellow highlights and stuff just to make it a bit brighter and stuff like that or we can bring it into blue personal preference really guys so as you can see what we've changed the design into from that to this looks amazing if I will say so myself uh, I hope you've actually been able to complete this if you have leave a comment let me know what you thought of the video sorry for some of the mistakes I made uh, I'm just a bit rough with the videos because I haven't done it for a while so hopefully you've enjoyed this and learned from it um, and it's been a smooth process for you guys so I'm just gonna click OK now and that's that done so there is our poster design sure I'll add a few explosions in right now uh, yeah that's the poster design guys so hopefully you've enjoyed follow the Instagram the link below Follow the Twitter, follow the Facebook page, and uh, subscribe to the channel for more videos. And we'll start to keep building our community that's going so well at the moment. Uh, I'm loving all the feedback from you guys. And yeah, pretty much that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.